That's a good question. Yeah. So um, Cheryl and I. Where, what do you like for background, Colin? Here? That corner right there is good. So you don't have to look at any of that stuff. So you pick whichever of those chairs. Okay. Looks good to you. Well. Um, so Cheryl and I are working on what we're calling a living history, talking to people. Can you shove that my way? I'm going to just do that as soon as we get to it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sure, was in my way. Talking to people who, at least, you know, uh, I work with a friend and Cheryl's on the board. So mostly um, people who had an uh, influence or on the conservation in the valley. Mm -hmm. Colin, you want some water, don't you? I do, yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I think I mentioned we just finished talking to Alan, who's retiring. Oh. Maybe about a week or something like that. He, he's a grand guy. Uh, yeah, yes. he is. <clears throat> to begin with, we didn't start out that way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, so let's, uh, let's jump in there, I guess. Yeah, how did you, okay. how did how you did he, out? How did he start out? Well, they were trying to put the fringe to lizard preserve together. Yeah. And uh, since that was county, issue you might say in other words land use issue they had to go to me otherwise they wouldn't have <laughs> so and i wasn't particularly conservation minded mm -hmm. in the sense of buying land and setting it aside mm -hmm. i figured if it was to happen it would happen mm -hmm. Which is dumb, but mm -hmm. that's where I was. That's, somebody, everybody has <laughs> to start somewhere. Awfully sweet, but dumb. Yeah. Where? What? What? Your position at the time? County supervisor. County supervisor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, right. That's a lot of what we were talking to Al about is the cr original creation of the Fringe Joe Lizard Preserve, and you had to sign off on that at some point. Um, yeah. But you, uh, I guess, what was it that changed your mind? It was something that someone said. And I, I mean, I was opposed to it. Uh -huh. I'm like taking public, I mean, private property for a public purpose. Buy every square inch of it if uh -huh. that's what you want. You know, that's what my mindset was at the time. And... Um, I'm trying to think. Villa Habert could have been in a, this conversation, mm -hmm. but I, I can't recall now uh, who all was there. But there was two or three Bill Habert types yeah. and myself. And I think it was Bill that said that, you know, a little bit. This will all be gone, uh -huh. and I mean, mm -hmm. now's time. And I heard him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he kind of convinced me with one fell swoop. I mean, he took me 180 degrees. Because mm -hmm. yeah. when he walked in, I was going to say, well, so long. <laughs> you know. So literally, it was like you went in for a meeting, and at the end of the meeting, your mind had changed. Mm -hmm. Wow. Do you know what year that was, approximately? 70s? Late? Yes. No, it wasn't the 70s. It should have been 80... Uh, it was 82. 80, yeah. Um, Bill, let's see, Bill Haver would have been around then. Bill Mayhew, maybe? Both Bill Haver and Bill Mayhew. And it was Bill Mayhew who convinced me. That was mm -hmm. what I, I heard. I talked to my parents about this last night. Yeah. And sort of tried to figure out who the players were. Yeah. And no, Mayhew. Bill Mayhew. Mayhew just seemed genuine, and it's not that the others didn't. Mm -hmm. It's just that I think that they had, they wanted a preserve, but they didn't want to buy the land. Mm -hmm. And that's what I objected to. Mm -hmm. My thing was, mm -hmm. no, you buy every square inch of what's your, and then you do with your land what you want to do with your land. Mm -hmm. but, and would Al have been there at that point, or? 
I was there, but uh-huh. he was on his front and center, is he now? He would have been, like, good, yeah. brand new on the job at that point, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But he was there. Yeah. And he and I had a disagreement about something. And it was a good crackling one. Mm-hmm. Um, but I can't remember what mm-hmm. it was. I've heard that you tend to get your way. I don't know if that's what your opinion that's is on that. That's how you get to be county supervisor. That's true. I'm sorry? That's how you get to be county supervisor. Is well, by having an opinion. I think before you open your mouth, you ought to know where you are. Mm-hmm. And so I pretty much did that. Mm-hmm. And where I was, was no. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't mean you stay there. So, so um, the, the buying every square inch of land, uh, did they do that? Did somebody have, to, or did the state do that, or did well, do that? Well, somebody is the owner of the, the property, and their various owners. Yeah. State is a major owner. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if you mention the names of the owners now, mm-hmm. I would. Fish and wildlife, I know. Yeah, a fish lot and food. wildlife, fish and game. Yeah. Um, desert mountains. Mm-hmm. The, well, I guess the Conservation Commission didn't exist at that point, but they would today they would have owned a lot of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so let's, uh, that was a nice introduction, but I wanted to start back a little bit, um, sort of how you were introduced to the Coachella Valley, or where, when did you come to the Coachella Valley? Came here in 1954. For the first, to move here, or... To move here. Right. Had you been here before or familiar with the area? Or no, I hadn't really. You just moved out. I mean, we, we farmed down in Brawley and we'd uh-huh. drive through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We generally stopped in Palm Springs for breakfast mm-hmm. in the morning. We'd mm-hmm. leave really early. And, mm-hmm. So. Um, what kind of farming were you doing? Well, I'm trying to think. The first year we were. Um, how, f- how familiar are you, you with the farming down here? Uh, I mean, I grew up here, but other than that, I mean, I'm not a farmer. So. Yeah. Well, there's kind of two kinds of farming. Mm-hmm. There is um, I can't think of what they call it now. I can say row crop, but it's not in rows. Mm-hmm. It's um, flood irrigation, mm-hmm. like alfalfa, mm-hmm. stuff like that. It's that kind. And then there's specialty farming. Mm-hmm. And uh, so it was mainly the, you know. The flooding. Yeah, yeah. The flooding. So you would have grown sort of whatever was in season or? Yeah, I'm trying to think what we grew the first year. Like I know these days they grow a lot of strawberries and watermelon and stuff out there. Yeah, none of that. But that maybe wasn't the case back then. Yeah. No. Kind of hay. Well, especially um, a lot of that farming is done by um, you lease it from the owner mm-hmm. rather than you just can't buy it Share because um, yeah, sharecropping. Yeah, share and uh, so that's what we were doing on mm-hmm. the piece of property. And well, I guess who's the we? Is you and your husband or and your family? It's my husband and mm-hmm. I. And before you came out here, what were you doing? Well, we farmed for two years down in Brawley. Uh-huh. And uh, we always did uh, share crop. Mm-hmm. And because that lets you out easily. Mm-hmm. You haven't got an investment there. Mm-hmm. So, anyhow. Mm-hmm. So you were farming in Raleigh for a while and then came up to Coachella Valley? Yeah, we, I was driving, th- we were driving through one day uh, on Old 99, mm-hmm. drove by a piece of property that was close to Valerie Jean's on Old Oh 99. yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, so I called the guy up, to, uh, on, his name was on the sign, to see if he wanted to sell it. Mm-hmm. And he did. And he really wanted to get rid of it. <laughs> now it was right on the highway. Uh-huh. Uh, 
140 up from the corner. And uh, so he was he was going to sell it for a thousand an acre, which even at that time was a good mm -hmm. buy. Mm -hmm. So we thought, eh, we can always sell it. Sell it, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But we it had a cotton allotment. It, everybody mm -hmm. had to have allotments at that time. So we grew cotton. Mm -hmm. What interested you in um, becoming a politician and a representative of the county and um, all the rest of the work that you did? What, what drew you into that? Well, I've always been um, involved mm -hmm. in the community. Mm -hmm. And um, so it was just, I mean, wherever I am, I'm not the quiet one in the group. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's. But I believe if you have an idea, you ought to express it mm -hmm. and let people shoot it down if that's what they want to do. Mm -hmm. But at least you need to put it out there. Mm -hmm. So good. Thank you. So did you go straight from farming to county supervisor or was there an in-between? Well, I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, I were, uh, my husband and I were farming. Mm -hmm. And then um, I think uh, I think Ray Seeley was a supervisor. Whoever died, some the supervisor I think don't hold me to it. You have to look it up. But I um, I believe whoever it was died. Mm -hmm. So somebody had to. Um, they were going to make an interim appointment. Mm -hmm. So I threw my name in the hat. Mm -hmm for that. And there, it's funny, there's just two of us that threw our names in the hat. Mm -hmm. And our darling supervisor picked the other person, mm -hmm. <laughs> which was annoying. Um, he was probably right, but it was annoying. <laughs> I can't remember who it was. Anyhow. Did you, um, I read your, tried to read your bio last night, so I wasn't just completely, it was Harvey Larson, oh my gosh. What was yeah, what was, <laughs> what was this, about? yeah. But were you involved in the schools also? Yes, I was on the school board. Right, so that would have been, and you had six children. Yes. Wow. Three boys, three girls? Yes, that's Good. hard to do. And 26 grandchildren. You have more by now. You're right. That, that was what the bio said. Maybe it's a little. <laughs> no, yeah, I wrote the bio, so it should be should accurate. Be right. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so you were a busy lady from forever, with the farming, the well, children. The... I'm kind of high energy. Yeah, and so no matter where I am, it's, I'm going to be busy. Okay. Yeah. So what? What? Um, um, set of beliefs, let's say, did you bring to this whole idea of conservation? Was it the fringe to lizard that, you know, that, that sort of precipitated the whole crisis or, you know? Um... Well, you know, you really have to give Bill Hayward yeah. credit mm -hmm. for dragging me in mm -hmm. because I didn't come kicking or screaming, but I came like a dead body, <laughs> you know, again. If it's to be, somebody will buy it, yeah. dedicate the land. This is in government's business. Yeah. Now, do I believe that now? No. But I did then. Mm -hmm. When we were young, we were quite naive. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the way that was. That's, um, were you going to say something? Sorry. Okay. I was going to say that's quite a transformation. I mean, a lot of people credit you with the idea of coming up with the, the MSHCP or the at least the first idea to say, let's do the MSHCP after we did the lizard. So that's quite a jump from, you know. Well, by the time we did the lizard, I was on board. Mm -hmm. So that was mm -hmm. a, a small step. Mm -hmm. so I mean, I, I got the picture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That, wait a minute. It's now or never. Mm -hmm. And it's heading toward never. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just thinking when you say two people put their name in the hat for the county supervisor position. Mm -hmm. So I mean, the difference between that and today, where you know, it's there's a million people who weren't wanted that job after Benoit um, died. Yes, uh, that's certainly true. 
So what but, was the Coachella? Well, go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, but the odds of getting it were, are, were just about the same. Right. Because <laughs> people who are really well qualified see themselves as congressmen or mm-hmm. this or that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, supervisor? Mm-hmm. What's that? <laughs> you know, well, you can get a lot done. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'd submit you can get more done if you have a vision or, or how you think things ought to be. Mm-hmm. I don't mean it's all drawn out in your mind, but mm-hmm. you really know where you ought to be going. You can do more as county supervisor than you can as congressman or mm-hmm. uh, any of the mm-hmm. other positions that mm-hmm. are available. Mm-hmm. Now, a real activist person could get a lot done. Yeah. But generally, the kind that will run for that mm. are not the real activists. <laughs> they want to get elected. <laughs> so, um, what, what was your... So, we know you weren't a conservationist when you put your name in the hat the first time. What was, what was sort of the issue that you wanted to change at that point? Or was there something... Well, I strongly believe in good government. Mm -hmm. Not that anybody else who's throwing their name in the hat believed in bad government. Mm -hmm. I mean, nobody said, I'm for bad government, vote for me, you know. (laughs) (laughs) But um, I don't think they'll necessarily work as hard as I might Mm -hmm. for that Mm -hmm. concept. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I figured, hey, I was qualified. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So the, the first thing that, that kind of came about before there was CBAG and before there was conservation, uh, CBMC, uh, was the um, MSHCP, Multiple Species Plan. And then did the rest of these kind of organizations that we work with so closely, did they kind of fall into place and and you had a role in each of those? How did that come to be? Well, they were already there. Were they? Yeah. Well, the CVCC, I think, is the one that's more recent, the Coachella Valley Conservation Commission. Yeah, that's that's new. Right. That came about because of the MHCB, I think. Okay. Yeah, probably did. Yeah. Um, it's not my love. Uh-huh. I just knew it needed to be done. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I wasn't working out of zeal. Uh-huh. If I'd been working out of zeal, I probably would have known more of the players and mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. But I just knew they needed the votes at the proper time and the leadership. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we were the second in the state of California, I think. And the first one was like a hundred and ninety acre one, yeah. a little guy. Yeah. And uh, so we really were uh, trailblazers. Right. But people like Buford and Bill Hayward and those guys, mm-hmm. they were kind of like the brains for me. <laughs> They'd come and tell me, mm-hmm. "Well, that's what we need to do." Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. You know, uh, we've been trying to figure out. Bill lives up in Washington now, I think. Oh, is he? Yeah, so we've been trying to figure out how we can get a hold of him or, you know, do something by phone maybe or something yeah, like that. Yeah, by phone, yeah. Oh, he was... I don't think it would have been if it hadn't been for Bill Hayward. Well, I think that's probably right. Yeah. Um, did you meet him the first time at that meeting or did you have a relationship with him beforehand or...? No relationship. I, I mean, met with him. Met he, him. he and... Um, oh, what was the UCR... Geologist or somebody. Uh, I know sure. you know his name. Yeah, I'm sure I would recognize the name. Yeah, um, he knew Bill. Mm-hmm. I think he direct. He was more important th- than it seems because he's low key, mm-hmm. and you know he doesn't make a lot of noise. Mm-hmm. I mean, if I'm in the room, you know I'm there. Mm-hmm. He could be in the room, and you might not know him mm-hmm. is there. Bill Haber? No. This the, other guy. The other guy. <laughs> yeah. Geologist guy? Yeah. Okay. Bill somebody. Yeah, I'm sure we talked to Al about him and um, just forgot. His... He, he was really more important, in my opinion, mm-hmm. than 
he takes credit for hmm. or is given credit. Hmm. Hmm. We'll have to track him down. He gave it credibility to me. Yeah. Otherwise, it was just some do-gooders out there patting trees on the head. And... Because he was from the university or sort of kind of something about him? I think because he was, uh, I guess I'd use the word scholarly. Scholarly. Mm-hmm. Scientific method. Mm-hmm. Scientific method. He didn't just say with a foul swoop, mm-hmm. ain't this grand, we really ought to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, he told you why it needed yeah. to be done mm-hmm. and what an opportunity we had yeah. that never come in. And once it's gone, it's gone. Mm-hmm. And Hmm. So he made a believer. He absolutely made a believer out of me, hmm. and that's hard to do. It is to take somebody who's kind of I use the word obstinate, <laughs> <laughs> but but I don't really use that with myself very much. But take somebody like myself and turn them 180 degrees, mm-hmm. and he did that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It, um, that's. I mean, I like I said, I I heard that you tend to get your way, and that's. Um... I, my mom was telling, like, like I said, we had dinner last night, and I said, I'm going to be interviewing you today, and if you had any tips or any questions that you, they'd like me to ask. And um, she told the story about when Desert Hot Springs uh, wanted to get out of the plan the first time, mm-hmm. and you said, well, if they're out, they're out. And everybody, you know, was at this big table like this, and everybody in the room, and everybody else in the room, just kind of like, ugh, we have to go through all this again. Mm-hmm. But I think it sounds like you made the right decision. Oh yeah. Yeah. You can't let somebody hold you ransom. Right, but it's. I mean, that's... You don't like it? Get out. <laughs> you know, you you threatening to get out? Get out. Yeah. Right. Don't sit here and threaten me. Yeah. Even though that meant a lot more work for all the people at the table, I think that took um, guts. On your part. Well, the other wouldn't have gone any place. Yeah. He'd mean, won. Yeah. So. And you can always do a course correction mm-hmm. further down the line. Right. And think, well, maybe we were hasty. So. Well, that's what happened. But yeah. Well, not really. Mm-hmm. But. Well, go ahead. No, I, I think from the get go, we were. We knew we were going to be in the plan, mm-hmm. and the worst that was going to happen is the two cities, Rancho Mirage and Indian Wells, would not be in it. Mm-hmm. But who cares? <laughs> I mean, you know, that says something. The cities need to ask themselves a question. Yeah. Why don't they think it's crucial we're in it? Because you ain't nobody, kid. <laughs> Earlier, you said something like CBMC is not wasn't the thing that was closest to your heart. Can you talk about some things that are closest to your heart that you did and and maybe still are doing? Well, I'm more interested in um, things that affect people. Mm-hmm. So health care, mental health care, juvenile. Uh, I created three committees, and one was health care, mental health. In juvenile, juvenile turnaround. Mm-hmm. Those are the three things mm-hmm. that uh, I think we're called upon in the county to mm-hmm. fix. And Riverside, you know, they they work all day, so to speak, with the people that live up there, not with the people who live down here. Mm-hmm. They come down here, hold fundraisers. Mm-hmm. Oh, they take our money. That's good. <laughs> but they don't do a blinkety blank for us. So I was not delighted with them. And they don't even see that they're doing it. They think they're being fair. I mean, they're not saying, hey, you know, how can we be dirty dogs right. and skin these take people? Take the money and mm-hmm. not give them any yeah, for it. that's not what they're doing. They're saying the population is there. We have to tend to the heavy population, mm-hmm. which I agree. Mm-hmm. You couldn't do stuff on by the carload lot down here, and then unless the people didn't want it up there. Mm-hmm. But there's a happy medium. 
Yeah, there's often like this uh, dividing line between East and West Riverside. I think definitely we always talk about that, or not always, but when it comes to education, we look for um, grants for education and stuff like that. Yeah, sure do. And if it's countywide, you can be almost sure that everything's going to go to the west side of the county. Oh, yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you have to get that worked out before you file yeah. for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it always amazes me how people don't see what they're doing. Because mm. the people we were working with were nice people. Mm -hmm. They were out to get us. Right. And, well, well, that's where their office is. And yeah. Just like this. Yeah. yeah. Well, they have a constituency that expects yeah. paying their expenses and this and that. And they expect delivery. And so. And where you mentioned, I think that CBAG was already here. It was already in place. Okay. So the cities have always had a, a cooperative feeling about them, or what's good for one is we should all be. The, um, the cities down here have been great mm -hmm. about cooperating with one another. Mm -hmm. uh, and maybe they we've just had to because we were way over here. Mm -hmm. We didn't get the services, but we had the need because... The real poverty in Riverside County is in the 4th District, which is, it goes from Beaumont Banning over the river. Mm -hmm. wow. And it, so, the need was here. Mm -hmm. And the Western Riverside County, they weren't bad people that were just selfishly taking mm -hmm. stuff. They just didn't see the need. Mm -hmm. I remember Melba Dunlap one time. <laughs> she was really funny. How oh, aren't you kind? Uh, she said, honestly, Corky, I just think that's the ugliest area in the whole world. <laughs> well, I said, no, I behold her, Melba. Yeah, it's true. Very true. It's almost like a different culture here and there. Yeah. Entirely different. Yeah. And as a result, I think we've given more leadership than one would expect because we had to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so it's good. Mm -hmm. And as a result, also, we had this power, uh, pockets of um, high income folks mm -hmm. living down here. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and not that high income folks are good, mm -hmm. but that high income folks if they believe in something, yeah. can back it up with money. Like a big change happen. So. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, we've been lucky that way. Mm -hmm. But what used to gall me was, you guys on the western end, you come down, hold a fundraiser down in the mm -hmm. desert, waltz off and spend it all mm -hmm. in the western Riverside County. Mm -hmm. I bet they hated me up there. <laughs> yeah, you because know, I, I just sang that song over and over. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, here she comes. <laughs> you, know. you know what she wants. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what she doesn't want. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't want more than a share. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted a share. Yeah. Um, hmm. In a way, you know, the creation of this preserve is very distinctive, it seems to me. It mm -hmm. gave us an identity that maybe we didn't have before and gave us a, something to fight for or, um, you know, it was really a kind of visionary leadership that they were just doing city stuff as per normal. Yeah. And we had to... It was... Um, well, I think it was the number two... ACP in the United States. Yeah, I think that, that's what Al said, yeah. Yeah. And and number one was 150 acres. Right. And only had, right, 150 acres. Yeah. yeah. Now, people like Al and Bill Mayhew and those guys, they put it all together. Mm -hmm. I mean, they they were the brains, but I'm... I don't think they could have gotten it done without my help. Mm -hmm. right. And it isn't my help that I did something mm -hmm. like it. It's my help in that it's the personality behind it. Mm -hmm. 
that I'm not always nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes. So, anyway. Do you have a, a sort of an example of something that you had to do maybe or um, something that comes to mind? Um, nothing that comes to mind. Mm -hmm. So just kind of like when you were talking to the the developers maybe or the other people who had an interest in the land oh well i knew how to talk to developers because we were in the building business mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what do you want you want to build it right then you better jolly well better get this thing through here or you will get blocked because yeah. they're they're getting a uh, you know mm -hmm. head of steam mm -hmm. and they're going to come in and stop you mm. and once people stop something they tend to Overkill. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, they uh, the developers were very helpful for me. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me how that was? How that was? Because we haven't had the chance to think about the development community as part of this picture. I mean, we try to, but we don't really know who. Well. Now, Bill Bone, I think, is still around, mm -hmm. but he's in Las Vegas most of the time. Mm -hmm. Bill was here, and he was, you know, he was involved in this kind of stuff. I'm trying to think of what other How did he help? How did they help? If you really get the developers mm -hmm. against something, it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, where they're organized, putting money behind it, mm -hmm. and fighting it tooth and nail, mm -hmm. they can stop it. Mm -hmm. But they don't like to do that because it looks bad. Mm -hmm. So they like to be good corporate citizens. Mm -hmm. And so you really need to work with the developers, in my opinion, if you're going to put something together so they mm -hmm. understand the purpose, they understand that this makes things move mm -hmm. smoothly for them. Mm -hmm. And they were getting delayed in some of their permits mm -hmm. forever and a day. And most of the development of the vacant land was in the county. Well, who controls the county? Mm -hmm. well, believe me, in the county board of supervisors, the supervisor of the district controls the county. Mm -hmm. I mean, nobody knows how much power that person has. Mm -hmm. But as example, somebody said to me, who is knowledgeable, and I believe them, that the five Los Angeles County supervisors are probably, after the governor, the five most powerful people in the state. Mm -hmm. What they want, they can't get everything they want, mm -hmm. but they can stop anything they don't want. Hmm. So that's a lot of power. What's your vision for the future? For this county, for our desert, for um, endangered species, for, you know, you, you, you came at this job with this strong vision of what you wanted. And some of us that are trying to hold down the conservation part of things are um, wondering what's what's what the future. How can we keep the valley blessed as as it currently is? I think you have to work very hard on relationships. Mm -hmm. Everything is relationships, mm -hmm. and if somebody doesn't like you you aren't going to get anything done. But if they like you, they're not going to put their hobnail boots, so to speak, in the middle of your back, mm -hmm. running over you. You know, they're, they will be considerate of mm -hmm. what it is. Mm -hmm. What is your objective? And I think your objective can't be static. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't sit here and say, well, my vision is this. Mm -hmm. No. You have to wait till something comes up. And you just have to be, always be ready to jump in. Mm. Now, there are other people who, like I imagine you, who are part of the planning of what's going to come up, but not Maybe. the decision maker, right. not the final decision maker. Right. They really shouldn't be. 
because with unintentionally they'll color it. Mm -hmm. so. hmm. Do you um, sort of looking back at at least as far as the conservation stuff and the, the MSHCP and the lizard preserve? Do you think that you sort of accomplished everything that we should have, or do you think we're today in a, the right place because of that? You know, there anything that you would once I waltzed out of that CVAG office, uh -huh. I never looked back. Mm -hmm. So I have no idea mm -hmm. where they are. Mm -hmm. Because I know sometimes I've dealt with people who were in a position mm -hmm. that could, could wield a lot of power. Mm -hmm. And they were upset because things weren't going the way they thought it ought to. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to spend my life that way. Mm -hmm. If I can't change it, shut up and... Bye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so I guess maybe the day before you left, did you feel like it was uh, everything was in a good place, or were there changes that needed to be made? No, I always felt that mm -hmm. if something needed to be done, we got it done. Good. And you know, you never see yourself as others see you. Hmm. Otherwise, you change. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it, the, the vision was negative. Yeah. Because I don't think any of us are obnoxious on purpose, you yeah. know. Well, <laughs> well there are people. <laughs> yeah. Who succeed. I um I sort of had I was wondering maybe I don't know whether you feel like this, but um, it seemed to me like the a description I got from my mom anyway that you were as a woman you were maybe sort of pioneering. I don't know whether you feel like that's accurate in the job that you had and sort of walking into a room full of men and um, telling them sort of, I'm trying to think of the right word, but does that click at all with you or? Well, I think I was a leader. Yeah, I, I guess she said that you were well-respected. In yeah, position, and I think which... I think people did respect me. I mean, mm -hmm. somebody who I voted and carried the day against didn't respect me, but mm -hmm. but I think they did. Do you think that you? Um, how did you sort of gain that respect? Do you think? I guess, or are you just a respectful person? No, I'm not a respectful. <laughs> you person. worked on relationships. Right? Yeah, I work on relationships. Yeah. yeah, the thing I always did. And I recommend this mm. to everybody. If you've been at a meeting and one of the key players in you have a, an argument mm -hmm. and it doesn't end well, mm. you have a feeling that there's a guy now hates you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the next meeting that you're at, mm. be sure that you sit beside him. Mm. Mm. I, I, that's all you have to do, hmm. because most of us, I mean, it's one thing to have knockdown drag out fights, mm -hmm. but you have to have respect. Hmm. And a person knows that no matter how much you disagree on this, they can come to you and you will listen to hmm. them. And I did change my mind on a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the other thing. You can't be afraid of changing your mind. Hmm. That's why people argue with you, isn't yeah. it? You know, so hmm. that's important, I think. That's a great tip. Thank you. Yeah. It's a, hmm. These things happen. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it's what they call um, having that kind of dialogue. You know, there's it's good to have some difference of opinion because mm -hmm. that's how new ideas Generally, people say that, but they mean not very different. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> a little as long teeny as it bit different. really ends up being my idea. Yeah, right. yeah. As long as I can accept three people instead of two people, <laughs> then it's okay. But I think we have been so blessed in the Coachella Valley with the environmental community. Mm. If I were, well, I started to say if I were um, an environmentalist at the first meeting I had with mm -hmm. Al Muth and Bill 
Bill Ebert and Mayhew, I think. Mayhew. Mayhew. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I would not have a very great opinion of me because, hmm. you know, I never held back. I, I didn't let them think they were dealing with a great... Or she was going to say, fine, let's do this. Mm-hmm. How'd your husband go along with all this? Was he, he was busy holding down his own thing? He, he was busy farming. farming. And in theory, farmers should be great environmentalists. But that's a bunch of hooey. Yeah. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> Plow it under. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> so much for the archaeological. Yeah, forget <laughs> it. <laughs> no, there, and there are exceptions, of course. But, but they don't speak up at meetings. They don't take a leadership role. And my husband was a lot like I. He fits in a room. You know he's in the room. Mm-hmm. What about your kids? Did they go on to be... Um, nobody's the kind of supervisor, I guess, but... Nobody's the kind of supervisor. <laughs> no. Um, things have to be just right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you can run at one time and... Yeah. It wouldn't go any place other time. Because first of all, I don't pound um, my point of view. Mm-hmm. I mean, it may sound like I do when right. I'm sitting here, but um, so anyhow. Yeah, I guess I, my mom mentioned you ran for Congress at some point. Yes, I did. And um, was there like a negative? What was the story there? The we story was I was running against Sonny Bono. That's what she mm-hmm. thought. Yeah. yeah. Well, the world knows Sunny Boy. Sure. Right. And they thought it would be cute to have a famous <laughs> movie star. Yeah. Small matter that they didn't, that have he didn't, skills. was a nincompoop. <laughs> but. Um, you also, according to the bio, fulfilled your long term interest in receiving a law or oh, yeah. earning a law degree yeah. in 1990. Yes, yeah. I graduated from uh, night law school in 1990. It was okay. kind of, you go four years to at night. So I went to that from 86 to 1990 and then took the bar mm-hmm. in 1990. Hmm. What gave you such an interest in law? Well, when I graduated from high school, the two really fulfilling occupations for women, excuse me, mm-hmm. were law and uh, a doctor. Medicine, right. You know, medicine. So it's one or the other. Yeah. And um, so law was the one that... But your original degree was in education, is that right? <laughs> right, so um, I guess... I have a Bachelor of Science in... In education. Education. Yeah. So, what stopped you from going into law the first time? Do you know I didn't think I could do it? Hmm. Really? And you know, I think that that's something women have to realize. Mm-hmm. That if you'd said, "Well, do you have an inferiority complex?" No. no. Do you think you aren't as capable as men? Mm-hmm. No. Hmm. Then why didn't you do it? Well, other people think that. Hmm. So, I just didn't think I'd get any place. Plus, most of the women at that time did research work. I mean, for an attorney. They may Mm -hmm. have been an attorney, may have argued in court, but Mm -hmm. they really weren't on their own. Now, that's not to say they weren't Mm -hmm. outstanding women attorneys. Did you have a law practice then? No. No. I um, trying to think of. I did do some law work, mm-hmm. but not much. Or more about the accomplishment, or um, was it helpful in your work? I think it was. You know, it's funny. People have a degree of respect for you. They think you're smart. They think you're dumb. Whatever it doesn't matter. So. 
pass that bar. Somebody impartial said, you're smart enough to do this. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, mm -hmm. it's like a gold star mm -hmm. on your thing. Like having a doctor. Yeah, and yeah. you know, men don't need that as much as women do. Mm. But I think women need validation, mm. especially back then. Yeah. That was impressive. Hmm? Back then, it was impressive. Yeah, very impressive, yeah. 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 Yeah, I guess that I guess that's kind of what the question I was trying to get to before is: Did you feel like you ever got pushback as a woman in the as a supervisor or trying to become supervisor or is that some? Oh well, <laughs> just try it. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance in the world. Huh. No, I didn't. Yeah, really. And I got along well with the fellow members of the board. Hmm. Um, I would say of the three women on the board, mm -hmm. so it was a majority of women, mm -hmm. I probably, the two men respected me. Mm. You know, I was able to, I'm going to say, argue in a ma manner that made sense to me. Mm -hmm. oh, the yeah. women were all over. And there were some smart women. I mean, mm -hmm. Kay Sanceros is, I don't, have you ever met her? No, I have not. Lovely lady. Mm -hmm. She is. She's a lady, mm -hmm. you know, just a really nice person, but very sweet. And she can be forceful, too, mm -hmm. so it isn't that she can't be forceful. Mm -hmm. yeah. She was on the board with you, sorry? That, yes, yeah. she, she was the first woman supervisor. Mm -hmm. And so she was on one year before, or one two-year term. Mm -hmm. It was a four-year term, but they were elected every two years. Mm -hmm. So she was on for two years before I got on. Mm -hmm. Then she was on the whole time that I was on. And then she was on for two years after. Mm -hmm. So she served four years longer than I did. Mm -hmm. But very capable. Mm -hmm. But it's funny. Well, I really like Kay. She's a nice person. Honest could see the point on things, but she didn't get anything done, mm -hmm. you know. It's like, okay, Kay, and what's different? Because you were there. Mm -hmm. But, well, did she make the constituency feel mm -hmm. comfortable with government? Yes, she did that. Mm -hmm. They knew she was honest. They knew she would listen, but. Hmm. So what do you see as being different after you were, I mean, I guess what, what's different after you left, do you think, in your words? You know, um, I don't know. Hmm. Uh, I, I don't look back. The Larson Center, which you. I'm right, I mean. I have several answers. I just want to, I guess my question is, what do you, what do you feel like is your major, um, what you're most proud of maybe, or what you felt like you're, what you really got, wanted to accomplish and got accomplished? Well, I think both, um, uh, and the board of supervisors and on the school board, mm -hmm. I, um, the one thing, one thing that I accomplished was, um, the CEO or the executive mm -hmm. tends to want to separate the workers from the board. So they'll, the CEO will be the go-between. Mm -hmm. And I, in, I mean, we were told in no uncertain terms. It's like, hey, peasant, what are you telling me? <laughs> uh, you know, I, but anyhow, you know, we we're told that we should not mixed with the workers. Mm -hmm. Well, how do I know what their thoughts are if I don't mix with them? Mm -hmm. And they are voters. You know? And in the county, there's 8,000 of them, so. Mm -hmm. So you, go ahead. No, I was gonna say, I don't know how good um, our present supervisors are. Mm -hmm. It's like Kevin Jeffers, I don't know him. Uh, so, do you stay involved at all, or are you pretty much 
retired and done enough? I have a feeling when you leave, you ought to leave. Hmm. And you can't stand there and cast a shadow. Mm -hmm. So that people are always looking over the show, well, what's Courtney going to think? <laughs> no. Hmm. It's no longer any of my business. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and if you don't cut that off, you will stay involved. Mm -hmm. it, just because you've given so much right. over okay, eight no, or 12 right. years, you know. Mm -hmm. You can't help yourself, so you have to cut it off. And that's one of the good things about term limits. Mm -hmm. Now, the Board of Supervisors mm -hmm. has no term limits, but you do get fresh blood. Mm -hmm. That's the, uh, as I was doing more refreshing the, um, for the bio, that's the number one Google result that comes up when I search for your name is a um, story or a quote from you saying, you know, something about, Fresh blood is needed, or something like that, when you retired. I think. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's. I don't care true. how good you are. Mm -hmm. You could be God. <laughs> Look down and said, "Here, I'm sending this angel in Corky Larson's clothing <laughs> and sending her out there." I don't care how good you are. Mm -hmm. You haven't got all the answers, and you need fresh eyesight. Mm -hmm. So. I feel really strongly about that. Mm -hmm. I think I only intended to stay two terms, and I think I stayed a third term. Mm -hmm. I think I did. Um, and I think that's important. Mm -hmm. Two, maybe three, mm -hmm. but not four. Mm -hmm. And I don't think one's enough. I think you have mm -hmm. to stand for re-election with the idea that People can take, uh, they, re they, they really evaluate you. Right. Otherwise, they'll dump you out. Now they know what you can actually do. And, yeah. yeah. And so if they, well, they don't dump you out, you know, well, uh, I didn't alienate everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Mm -hmm. How do people like our present supervisor, who is? Uh... What, I can't even, let's see, our present supervisor is new, I think, right? Yeah. I couldn't tell you his name off the top of my head. Raul Ruiz? No, no he's Congress. the congressperson. <clears throat> but it, he knows it's part of that sort of group, group. of, yeah, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're correct on yeah. that. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I, he's I, new. I, I don't know if I've heard any um, opinion yet, and I wouldn't really. I don't talk to the type of right person. And um, he doesn't talk to you. I mean, I'm I'm really kind of reflecting on what you said about um, getting. You know, actually, when at, when we asked what do you feel is your major accomplishment, you said it was to continue to mix with people. You know, you were told not to do that, and you with employees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. But you felt strongly, I mean, we don't know who he is because there's a cutoff. Mm -hmm. you know, I think the part. employee ought to feel they can come to you. Yeah. Mm. And of course, that's the very thing that the executive officer wants to discourage, yeah. mm -hmm. is you get everybody running in, complaining, right. I hate so and so. Right, going you know. above your head. Yeah. The, yeah, you can handle that. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're adept at all. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not appropriate for us to talk about that. Mm -hmm. You go talk to Joe Blow. <laughs> no. mm -hmm. um, so I'll go ahead if you're going to say something. No, I just I well I, I was going to say something. What I was going to say, I think the most important thing for a supervisor is to get out and know the constituency. Mm -hmm. Really know who's who who's a player, who doesn't care whether you rob the bank or mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. but, you know. So, um, talk to business owners and agency people and everybody, I mean, is that kind of? Well, I seldom talk to bus uh, business owners mm -hmm. because business owners are a different type. Mm -hmm. 
If they've got a problem, they are at your front door mm -hmm. where your phone is ringing. Mm -hmm. They are mm -hmm. reading you out. Mm -hmm. So it, the, you get the feedback from them. Mm -hmm. The ones you don't get the feedback from are the ones that say, boy, that disappoints me. Or, and maybe it's just that they don't understand. Mm -hmm. So. So you actually had to make an effort to go out and. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Talk to people who you may not have. And this district is very big. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's huge. Have you been to Ripley? <laughs> Ripley? I don't even know where Ripley is. <laughs> well, that's good you stayed that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, hmm. Oh, was I going to. Did you have something else? Mm -hmm. Okay. No, not yet. I was going to. Um, one of the things we're nearing our hour mark, which is about what we usually want to do, because it gets, can be um, tiring after that. But one of the things that we've been doing, which I think has worked well, is try to get a couple of people together and um, have them sort of talk about an issue. And I don't know whether maybe Buford would be, or who who do you think would be a person you'd want to talk to? Um, conservation issues or anything really well I think Buford's excellent mm -hmm. in anything you'd ask him um, you know, mm -hmm. he cares he's bright mm -hmm. yeah. um, anybody else well I think my notion more is there's not anybody that isn't good to talk to, yeah. you know, but they're all good to talk to. Mm. You were involved with the Salt and Sea Authority too? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, it's funny, I'm not sure. I'm just, don't write this down. Mm -hmm. I think I started it. Oh. That's what it says in the bio, yeah. It does, it's well, it says you you're the founding, a founding board member. A founding board like, member, yeah. okay, but, but... Whether or not it was your idea, I won't say yeah well yeah. yeah but it i think it was that i and someone else it said we ought to get all these agencies together mm -hmm. because they were getting together but it was more the mm -hmm. staff you know we meet with person so and so or mm -hmm. they meet it we just didn't know one another yeah how can you get anything done if you don't trust people yeah. you know your fellow person there, mm -hmm. so that was good. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's um, that's an issue we run into today, actually. I've been trying to get, not anything official, but just get people from who work with the monument. Mm -hmm. There's three or four different agencies, and we a lot of us have never met each other, so we can all at least meet each other once and put a face to the name and a name to the face and that sort of thing. Yeah, and it's important that you do it enough that you have rapport. Mm -hmm. But you don't do it so much that you're cozy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think disagreements hurt rapport, mm -hmm. depending on how they're done. Mm -hmm. So it's critical that you do it. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Do you do it? Um, you want to have rapport, but not be cozy. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. what do you? What's the sort of danger there? Of being cozy. Yeah. I know you're doing something wrong, hmm. but I'm not going to tell you hmm. because you're a nice guy and you mean well, and just because you're stepping all over certain people, right. but, you know. Right. Um, now, if it was critical, yeah, I would hmm. tell you. Hmm. But I think we have to be as forthright with the bad as the good. Hmm. But we are really lucky here. Hmm. Can you say more about that? Well, I think every city, uh, and of course the county, have really strong environmentalists. Mm -hmm. And they're in positions of significance. Um, so Palm Desert mm -hmm. has good people. Um, I don't, I'm trying to think, is there a weak link in any of the cities environmentally? I don't think so. Um, no, I don't, well, I think they've all got their, 
uh, you know, there's some council people who are always more uh, environmental than not. So there's always one person maybe who's a problem or one person who's good, but I don't think they've all, I think everybody mm -hmm. is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I think that, I think they they mean well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And they'll meet with you. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's critical that who's ever taken the leadership of the preserve needs to know all those council people and really don't, because you, you know, you, you look over here for a couple of minutes and you turn around and there's just a big tidal wave coming into Kenya. <laughs> yeah, that'll be interesting. Um, Al's got his replacement coming in, who's a professor, I believe a UC, um, no, CSU Fullerton professor, so he's not local. So it'll be interesting to see sort of how he um, adapts to that position and some of the other, um, you know, preserved people. I don't know that anybody's close to retiring, but it'll be interesting to see how sort of the guard changes, I guess. You know, I think one of the things that unfortunately we've overlooked a lot mm -hmm. is salt and sea. Mm -hmm. That the, that's the reason I ran for the CBWD board mm. was the salt and sea. Mm. I just didn't think we were doing anything. Yeah. And um, people don't have to be excited. They don't have to be carrying flags and saying hey, salt and sea. They just have to care about. It. Yeah. So um, hopefully we get somebody that. Well, there you get your. Um... It's not the Western Riverside ignoring the Eastern Riverside, it's Sacramento ignoring Southern California, but yeah, that's what there, a lot of noise about the Salton Sea and nobody's paying for it still. But it's gonna have to happen some point, right? Yeah, what well, we hope. <laughs> Is there somebody that you can think of that you would want to be in another kind of interview, like with Buford and somebody from the Salt and Sea Authority, so we could get a little closer to that? What's the issue? The two folks from the Salt and Sea Authority now. Do you um, know them well? I'd have to know the names. Yeah, I, I'm not pulling the guy's name right now, but um, Me neither. <clears throat> I met him once and. Um, hmm. I don't remember it now. What was your experience on the Coachella Valley CBWD board? Great board. Good board. What were the issues? Well, water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, quantity yeah. and yeah. quality are the big issues. And you always have Los Angeles wanting to get yeah. more of the water, Colorado River water. It's yeah. like, okay, boys, bite the bullet and desalinate the ocean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're sitting by all this water. In fact, it's got salt in it. Yeah. What uh, What was your last year on the Water District Board? Do you know off the top of your head? It was the same year uh, with... Uh, with... Um, yes. Seabag? Well, no. yeah, because yeah. Uh, it was like ninety four. Yeah, okay, that's not right. Mm -hmm. Um, so this was before sort of the more recent. Uh, they weren't dealing with the uh, whatever that stuff, chromium, and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, chromium more, six. Yeah, some of the more controversial stuff they've been doing. Or you weren't there for the lawsuit with the tribe, I guess either. They were. See, I think if I'd stayed there, there wouldn't have been a lawsuit with hmm. the tribe. Um, How do you... Mean? There's nothing like patting yourself on the back. But <laughs> sure, go ahead. It, well, no, you, you know, somebody who is recognized as in authority uh -huh. has to meet with them. Yeah. And you talk to people long enough and you you can sense common ground. Mm. And then you move to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just don't think they're, nobody sees it as their job. Mm -hmm. Well, it is your job, you're on the board. Mm -hmm. And if somebody else isn't doing it, do it. Right. And I'm not sure you wanna 
have staff mm -hmm. develop those relationships. So mm. the next thing you know, staff is more powerful than you are. Mm. And most of the electeds, you know, what makes you think you're so smart? Mm. Um, you know, they, they don't really like each other. I mean, from another jurisdiction. Yeah. So you have to work at mm -hmm. those relationships. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Well, my timer says an hour and five minutes. Cheryl, do you have anything no, else? No, I'm good. I I'm think. good. I'm writing down the, the last three things you said I think are... Um, uh, kind of political advice that I'm not so good at politics, but aren't you? Mm -hmm. I think so. I'm good at relationships, but not on on the level of getting things done that you're talking about. You know, it, which is it takes a certain savvy that I didn't grow up with at all. So I, I'm just kind of a student here. Well, I think I think you do just fine. It's a matter of developing the rapport so you know when you can move on the yeah. person yeah. or when it's too soon. Yeah. Or See, maybe you aren't the it, one to move. It's, yeah, it's the will to move, you know, yeah. that, that um, and, the, and the clarity about that that, that is interesting. And then you need to sit down and talk with somebody who's in a position like yours yeah. Yeah. and let them do it. Okay. You know, but you need to get it done. If you see clearly what needs to be yeah. done. Yeah. Well, the Living History Project wasn't getting done by anybody, so we moved on it. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Colin um, said, oh, well, I'm kind of interested in that. And I was waiting for critical mass, and here we are. Here we are. Yeah, there we are. Exactly. Well, if I can help you. Any other way? Yeah, please let yeah, me know. We'll absolutely. call you back for round two. If you well, don't like mind. I, I w actually, I, I was thinking that you and Buford together, I think, would be good if you're interested. Sure. Um, do you have a time sort of you're around? No, I'm I'm around. Period. Yeah. Till till August. Okay, right. <laughs> Buford's gone till the end of the month, but maybe sometime in July. Yeah. What a blessing he's been for the valley. Mm -hmm. I'll say, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's, um, I don't think Buford gets the credit he deserves. He deflects it. Yeah, I think he somewhat intentionally on his part, probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's he's in an odd way shy, but we want to. There's a lot of knowledge and competence there, and we'd like to flesh some of that out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will be gone in July, but I trust that you can handle this by yourself, okay. unless you want to wait till I'm back. That's up to you. Well, yeah. of course I want to be here, but <laughs> I don't want to. I mean, we can wait. It's done. Doesn't really matter. It's one of those things. It's not gonna run away. Okay, <laughs> I'll trust you on that. Yeah. What have you been doing since you've been retired? Good question. Yeah. Where Where do you live? I, don't know. Do I live, live in um, Sun City. Okay. Mm -hmm. Palm Desert, right? Great place to be. Yeah. So we have yeah. friends there, so we visit them every once in a while. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. But it really is neat. Is you've got all the facilities that you need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like to walk in the morning. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you walk this morning, or was it too hot? Good for you. No. I didn't walk this morning. It was too hot. <laughs> <laughs> Never too hot for me. <laughs> me too. <laughs> yeah, gotta walk. That's yeah. Hmm. That's why we stayed here in the desert since '54. Hmm. Been here since '54. No, not me. I'm just referring to you. Oh, you okay. You came and then you stayed. Just, yeah. Yeah, not since '54. Well, we were farming down yeah. here, so there was a reason, uh, and. When our kids, our oldest girl started kindergarten in 55, mm -hmm. and um, actually 54, the fall of 54, mm -hmm. we liked the school system. Yeah. So mm -hmm. That's good. that made sense. We were planning on going up to San Joaquin. Mm -hmm. So we didn't really cover it. Maybe we can get to that on the next one, but just real quick, what would the school have been at that point? India or 
Well, we used to build spec houses. Mm -hmm. And a spec house, same house. Mm -hmm. Indio, Palm Springs, you're talking $20,000 more for the same cost, same everything. Right. Palm Springs. For Palm Springs, yeah. So there's, it's just, everything is, you ask any developer, uh -huh. location, location, location. Uh -huh. And so that's why Palm Springs made sense. But I don't say that out loud because it offends Indio and mm -hmm. people don't understand. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sorry, that's the way people are. Mm -hmm. You don't have to understand it, just remember it. So, okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. My pleasure. Yeah. That was great. great. A lot of fun.